Hello everybody and welcome back to Theme Park Hosting and today is a very exciting vlog on the channel as no we are not at our theme park but the Legoland Billund Holiday Village Hotel vlog and with me today we have got Hugo, Adam and Jay over there where we'll be heading into one of the Ninjago cabins right down there experiencing what this hotel has to offer and giving you our view throughout the one night that we are staying over here as previously today we were over at the Legoland Billen Park just down the corner and then we came on here for a night before returning back there tomorrow so throughout the entire experience today we will be giving you our full reactions but are you excited for your first Legoland stay yeah. as well as our first stay at Legoland Down Billund? Yeah, I mean you know it's, it's, it's really great to be here of course in uh, April we actually explored the area of course like the Legoland Holiday Village and you know what it actually is like a really nice complex of course as well there are two other hotels down there yeah. of course like the Castle Hotel then the Legoland Hotel but we thought because this is a little bit more unique than the Windsor versions yeah we thought we're going we'll go down here and we're a huge fan of Dave Crockett in that past yeah. hotel very so, similar theming yeah. so there are quite a lot of different sort of hotel sort of complexes here so I mean I will explain a little bit later but it's not just cabins here so. yeah so you kind of yeah. have an all round option so we'll be taking you around in the morning around the whole complex yeah. showing you around, you know, around the supermarket but of course restaurant as well so so much more and I wish you were in there later on but we may take you in there as well in this vlog maybe not but that is awesome as well if you are staying right here because it is a humongous water park and leisure centre but Hugo excited I am like I've seen pictures of the the Ninjago rooms and it just looks like Davy Crockett but Lego fired and we all know we all love yeah. Davy Crockett so this is this is something to look forward to and it's nice because it, not only is it the first Legoland hotel for, for me for stay this looks like such a more chilled out sort of hotel yeah it doesn't seem as, as I think of the park, hotels that are on the park which is an amazing course for accessibility and by how far away this is I mean it's like a five minute walk to the park well, I mean yeah we, we just walked it it's about I'd say we spent about 10 minutes walking it so minutes, yeah. it's not even that far you can pretty much see the entrance from over here yeah if I find a right shot you must see the entrance to the park yeah but it's not far to get there but when you're staying a little bit further away you get that eight bigger rooms which you get which is really nice but also you feel secluded from the park you don't feel like you're all in the hustle and bustle of it all, all 24 hours especially even a longer visit it's yeah. not going to say like here because we were saying earlier that this is like a four day place villain yeah, with all of this extra stuff as well it's absolutely amazing but with no further ado we're going to check into our hotel Jenna are you excited? yes very good we're going to check into the hotel take you into our room and see what this hotel has to offer. I am very excited, guys. Okay, here we go into our Lego Ninjago cabins and we're getting one of those later on. So that kid down there and one of those little pedal things. That is a genius idea. We are definitely getting one of those. But on the way to our cabin, I do want to mention one thing that's very, very important to tell us. I don't know if it's all ones in Denmark or whatever. We didn't actually account this when we went to the other hotels, but you've got to pay for linen and towels. The see you pay £10 each. I can't believe that. £10 each. Well, the thing is, if you are heading by car, yeah, then you take your own stuff and you save some bit of money. It's just that's an axon. That's, that's what I always think. Interesting. Like, I mean, if this was included in the This price, is a very then, camping hotel. You just thought, well, we'll take Exactly. I mean, the thing is, like, if this was just on, on the price, like, let's say, like, this, all, this all came within the price, I mean, we would still pay for the hotel. I mean, it's just that it's separate. You probably, mm. Yeah. But you know what? Like, if you did come down here, yeah, I mean, if you live near, I mean, we would just bring our own beddings. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think you said like can only say ten, so I've got some ten faces as well. Yeah, no, I think that's one there you there. see that one. Also, as well, I've just seen something which we sort of fair up Summerland a couple of months ago, and yeah, they're basically like the, that sort of a bouncy castle, but on the floor. No, there's not. And there's one over there. So no, there's not. Me and Tom are getting very excited. Oh, I'll use a tune to this vlog because I'm going to show you. Got, I think and we we definitely get one of those pedal things. I'm not, I'm not lying. It looks so cool. I love this whole already. I love it in That's why we're starting to explore it. Yeah. So so many bit, bits and bobs around here. And like the thing is, you wouldn't usually think, oh yeah, in Jago theme hotel would be like a cabin in a way but you know i think it actually works it does well. well yeah look at it it's like it's so cool i mean again this is our first time really exploring this half we only had a little quick look around because actually in fact we're looking for a memory card that we lost on our visit but it's really cool isn't it it's, it's, it feels like davy crockett with a and the heads up I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but Davy Crockett is a Disneyland Paris hotel that we fell in love with in May. So it's just that's a bit it's of backstory like towards Davey it. It's like Davy Crockett, but Denmark-fied. Yeah, Denmark like, yeah, it's not so trilly, yeah, tr trilly, 
tree. It, feel <laughs> but it feels really nice. It and feels it, like David Crockett, but it feels like Denmark. That's yeah, I know. And it has a leather touch as well towards it. It's really, really cool. I'll be honest, I thought we'd get to the room by now. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you when we get there. I think it's a bit more of a walk to go, to be honest with yeah. you guys. But I think it's okay, maybe not so much of a walk. Right on the edge, perfect. Let's have a quick look around. Now I'm going to go to the door. We'll take you round. If it is this one, I hope it is this one. Otherwise, we're just going in the wrong door, I mistake. <laughs> but here we now go. Round the door, Adam's gonna take us up there. Adam, hold up, hold up, we're gonna give a home room review as we enter up these stairs and into the hotel. Let's go into the Ninjago cabin. I'm very excited for this, guys. Don't need to anyway. Here we go. Wow, oh, this is so cool. Oh, that, that is really cool. You could definitely have a wooden touch towards it. Oh my god, this is lovely. This is so cool. I mean, you. <laughs> that, that is really cool. It's definitely funny, we'll give you a room later on, but you've got fridges and amenities. You've then got the ice cream here, now it's going here. You've got double beds here, very cool master woo poster. Yeah, it's really, really cool. And then around here, you've got a double bed, that looks great size for me and to go on. And then in here, we have also got the bunk beds, little games for us to play. Yeah, this is really cool, it's really, really cool. I think it's going to be great for our night, so. Who's going to come? Nice come on, yeah, so this is our room. Well, if we look around, the roof is huge when you look at us. Oh, yeah. James Bennett Games. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, the thing is, so in terms of the room itself, uh, this room can actually fit six people in. And in terms of where everyone sleeps, I mean, we've sort of worked this out. Uh, on the website, it's not exactly clear where everyone sleeps, but we believe two's on a bump bed over there, double bed in there. And on the one, it looks like, yeah, that looks so, decent size sofa bed as well. It looks alright, you know, it, it, it looks sort of like a double bed, right? Yeah. In a way, so yeah, it sort of looks smaller on the photos in a way, so I'm pretty pleased with that. And but. we can even like, get snacks as well, like we can get some like drinks and stuff, put it in the fridge for tomorrow, that's really good as well. Oh, that's and you've got like all the amenities, but very, very similar to David Crockett. It is very But there you go. I'd actually argue this is big, well, this is way bigger. Yeah, it's bigger than yeah. It's bigger than everyone, yeah. Steaming here is just so good. Yeah, okay. So what we'll do, we'll give you a hotel tour later on. But right now, we are starving. We've been in the park all day. We're up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And we've got to get some steak. But as soon as we're done, we'll head back to the hotel, give you a room tour, and show you around this amazing resort. Here we are on our journey for our steak. And other than the quick look around the hotel, enjoying the whole atmosphere, and then journeying off, we are getting very, very hungry now. So along our way, I did decide at the end of the day that we should show you around Billum because we're gonna regret it if we don't. I said earlier in the vlog, literally just filmed, I said, oh, I've really a vlog where I show you around it. And now, of course, I'm not gonna show you every single shop of every single part, but I'll give you a few clips occasionally, show you the Lego house, and just give you an idea of what Billum has to offer because it really is an amazing place. And just walking down here already, you can just see how clean and amazing it is. And I'm starving, but I'm gonna keep talking. Yeah, no, it's crazy. I mean, this is what we've always been saying, like Denmark. I mean, like since April when I first had a visit, uh, I'm funny enough, we're actually walking down this path the other way in April. But you know, Denmark is a country itself. I mean, you know, of course, in April, we're in over the whole country, so clean. Like, we only saw three pieces of rubbish the whole time. Like, four days we're in across the whole country. This country is just phenomenal, in my opinion. It's my favorite country I've ever been to. I love Denmark so much, and you know, like, and like, the people here are so friendly, everything like that. They really just are. Terrible. Also, it's the home of Lego, so what's not to love? Yeah, along our way, actually, talking about Lego, it's the whole like, Lego town, basically. We will be passing the Lego headquarters, as um, well as the Lego house, on the way to our favorite restaurant over here, Berlin. We actually ate at one, to be honest. Probably obviously one side of Legoland Park, but this restaurant has got everything. It's got pizza, steak, and grill. And I'll give you a little Tom tip about where to eat in that restaurant, in fact, when we do get over towards it. But Jaden, walking down here, we're just about to approach the Lego headquarters as we speak, and it's pretty awesome just looking at where Lego, well, where Lego was crazy just down a little bit down there, because I remember a little bit earlier, but I just like to get some food. Yes, very, I'm starving. <laughs> I am uh, excited to have a steak, that's what I feel Yeah, so I'm very excited. Big rare steak and... In just, and we'll give you a food review afterwards. We're going to explore the Lego house and we're going to stop at the supermarket because our hotel has got a fridge. We thought we are going to do, we're going to get some stuff at the supermarket, stack up, get some grapes and strawberries, all that jazz, and get some snacks for tomorrow. Put it in the fridge with some bottled water, which is a lot cheaper than paying for it in a park. So then tomorrow when we get out of the park, we're all ready to go. We don't have to stop for an hour eating food or whatever. And we all have our snacks at the ready and even breakfast in the morning. We didn't pay for breakfast at the hotel. So we just thought, we'd just grab some stuff from the supermarket. I mean, you get some pretty awesome stuff. There's a massive supermarket in here, but I went to last time. We're going to grab some of the snacks and we we'll eat it in the morning before we go and do the hotel tour and then head back into the park for our day two. Here we now go, past the Lego headquarters and then yeah. 
towards a restaurant. Well, so what's pretty cool about here quickly is that anyone who I mean knows about Lego, uh, they'll know that this building actually never used to be here, I don't believe. I mean, I may have got this completely wrong, but I don't think this building used to be here. I think it was like 2017, 2018 when, of course, Lego and Finn had its 50th anniversary. Uh, I believe they actually built this new headquarters around the corner. And yeah, we saw it back in April, and you know, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, yeah. so here we go. Cool you out. can now see it yourself as we pass it in three, two, one, Lego. Well, we didn't go over par five, I thought we were gonna head down, but it's still got a lovely scenic walk around Billund. I mean, we're in gonna... such a beautiful town. I know, we're doing something here. Like, look at this, this is the main town part. And it is stunning, but this is crazy we will well. go past the headquarters, but we didn't do it at the time. I mean, yeah, that's unfortunate because I, I think it's the other way past it. I mean, to us, we didn't really know where we were going, but we saw the five Google Maps, and yeah, it brought us here the quickest way. But you know what? Yeah. I mean, this town is incredible anyway. But when you see it from up on the Lego house, you get like an overview of the whole entire town. Of course, the whole Legoland building, which is the theme park located just down the road. And you know, it just looks amazing. Obviously, Polo Explorer. I mean, if you've been up there in the day, I reckon you get some awesome clips of Polo Explorer from up there. It's pretty cool. And it's just so clear. I mean, look at this. Look how clean it is. Oh, Even the trees are like. It's just so relaxing. So we have the day and going up here. I haven't heard a single sign the whole of the set. We didn't hear one for four days. But. Yeah, I mean, like, well, I mean, like, we heard one in Copenhagen, and that was it. So I mean, that just showed you the city is two days. You have one sign, and we don't even know they're moving out. They may be not. I don't know, a fire truck or something. We don't know. Yeah. yeah. Don't you think, think Lego was invented just over there? That red roof is around about there. That's where Lego was invented. Yeah. So. Crazy stuff. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But this is the location where Lego was for. Well, ever since this whole place. I was being built around it, but I think are we going straight for the restaurant? Yes. So there, there you go. Tom so Tip, number one of our video. If it is open, which it is, I think. Yeah, yeah. We're going to head inside of Mama's Pizzeria Steak and Grill. Mmm, looks delicious. Food has just been ordered, and because we were a little bit deadlined on time tonight, we decided when we're waiting for our food to come, Mum and Dad are still in there. We're actually going to have a look around the Lego house, and unfortunately, at the moment, the inside is not currently open. But I basically, don't think so anyway. So essentially, um, the shop shuts uh, uh, around eight o'clock, I think, and I don't think that uh, the indoor will be open. Of course, if the shop shut and the torch shut. Can't see the indoor being open. But yeah, it looks pretty empty around here. I really us. hope that we can get up the outside because last time, it's about this weather last time. I mean, we're a bit earlier, well, last time, but you know, as it's still sunset, I don't, yeah, I think it's still up there. Yeah, yeah it is like saying, it, it, And this is one of my favorite views in the what It could even be my favorite view ever. So yeah, like, it's, pretty cool. it's pretty awesome. I said, this whole place, I'd love to go around. Of course, I thought the shots would be open, but looking at the restaurant when we first went in there, it seemed as if. After Legoland and closes, obviously crowds of people come down to this area and then after like an hour or two, which is now, after park closes, it just all dies off. So it's absolutely crazy how quickly and how empty it is in there. I mean, like, there are three or four people sitting in there and this whole town is just desolate. So if you're going to come here and want to experience everything properly, come after the park closes. Like, we wait a few hours and then come and experience it because you risk everything to yourself for the whole place. But I don't think as many shops are open as they normally And of course, in the summer holidays as well for us, they're more likely to open up more areas. Here we are, very now. I'm um, making our way up the stairs. Who are going to do not know yet. Oh, this is not the only set of stairs, so it's time to do the giant leaps. But we'll make it up to the top, show you some clips around the whole Lego house, and give you that fantastic view from the top. Unfortunately, and see when our food is ready. Oh, we unfortunately, go it's shut up there now. Oh, is it shut up there? Yeah, no, unfortunately, we can't Oh, so you can't go up it's there. It's as hard as we get, but. You can see Polo Explorer. Still see Polo Explorer over there. So. Oh, there you go. Express. Oh my god, I'm such a we've got, we've got, we've, we've, we've got some sort of views, and you can also see as well the looks I found here. But if you want to see the foot up there, check out our vlog from way down the hill on our last Denmark road to show all around there and experience the whole of this town in general. But I still think it's nice. I've always shown you a little bit from up here with James. Jen, are you excited for your steak? Uh, yes, very. Um, I wanted a steak. I've been wanting a steak for a while. I haven't had a steak. In a restaurant for ages, but yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And then after that, we're gonna get some nice food in the market as well. Yes. I also would like to say, I don't know if I said this already, I also just want to say how nice this country is. Yeah, it's so nice, it's like so clean. I just think I'll say, fresh right. air. I mean, it's so clean. it sounds stupid, doesn't it? I know he says a lot, I know he says a bit a lot, and there is the hotel vlog, not touring around villain vlog, but. The place is just unbelievable. That's like breathing. That's stupid, but you will know when I get here. 
this breathing is just it, massively hey, different here. You, as soon as you get here, you can you notice the difference. Yeah, you do. I live here. I, yeah, it, it, oh, so would I. I mean, this is just a fantastic place. And when I show you guys around, when we get you back here, obviously, we do around the rest of Denmark. You really see how amazing this whole country is in general because it's just one tiny part of it. This is one tiny part, and just look at it. Amazing. Chillaxing in Billund. What a life. Oh, my tummy is full now. And that was an absolutely amazing meal. That steak is expensive, don't be wrong. I think we paid <coughs> uh, 20 quid for a steak. We don't have things that much. Well, I'll just call it. But again, when people say Denmark is expensive, obviously they're not counting for itself area, so it's not yeah. awful. And the steak is amazing. Yeah, I mean, in terms of the area itself, Bill, and, you know, I mean, it's expensive, but you get what you pay for. Exactly, like, that's yeah. the thing, like, the food quality here. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, just don't restart really it, like, the fresh air as well. Even at Legland, like, 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 the food's really good. So you do pay money. But it's worth it. Remember, it's a lot of money. You just gotta be careful what you spend. Like right now, I went to a supermarket. Instead of spending 30, 40 pounds for breakfast at a hotel each, we are gonna uh, be going to. For instance, just a bit of price range, for instance, a stone baked pizza, which is about, I don't know how big it was, but it was pretty big. That high. was around 10 pounds. So it's expensive, yes, but it's some of the best meal I've ever had. And it's like a lovely place to be as well. And like, the thing is, because all the staff are so lovely here, you don't mind paying a little bit. Exactly, yeah. They're all lovely. And another thing I want to find out as well, here's the thing, I don't know if it's just everywhere, or just here, or whatever. But they didn't ask us, what's, there's no sort of like definition of what sort of steak it is, or there was no like, whether you want it medium rare or whatever. So that was a bit odd, but at the same time, Whatever it was, I don't know. I think it was like me, so like midway, I thought it was called medium, I think it is. <laughs> that makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> I think it was medium, but that was really, really nice. Right now, though, we are continuing by heading over towards our next part before making our way back. We're getting very tired now, as we did wake up like three o'clock this morning. Well, so it'd be Danish time, it'd be four o'clock, so we've been up for like. <sighs> God knows how many hours uh, right now, but <laughs> we are tired. We're making our way through. We're going to be heading over towards the supermarket. Hopefully, get over towards that water park I said earlier before we turn back to the room to give you a little room tour from there as well. Going to sleep, waking up with the hotel vlog rest of the way. But I hope you've enjoyed this aspect. I was debating whether to do it or not, so I was feeling like I thought, is it really that relevant? <laughs> oh, Barber King, how, how original, how original. No, I was, kind of, I was kind of considering whether to do it or not. Barber to get like burger thing. Like, yeah, I know, but like... Really anyway, Jay's getting tired too. So, what we're going to do is we're going to continue. Go in the morning, but I was considering whether to do this or not, but I think it's worth it. Comment down below if you enjoyed the local area at all or not. Anyway, let's go. To the supermarket. We've got stolen. We even like pull off up our shopping trolleys. And after another very successful shopping trip yeah. and a bit of money spent on some snacks for tonight as well as tomorrow morning, we have turned up over this boy here. And the headquarters are just over there. I might have shown you a clip earlier, but we'll try and go around that sort of way. But this is, is apparently, as you can probably guess for a sign, don't know the birthplace of Lego. So it says Lego born. And we think so, because right like, like, here. Considering it's in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah, it's like a little it's past there, but so well Lego has down there, so it's quite a cool little thing. Fair. We just stumbled across it the other day, it's like it's crazy. Yeah, but there you go. I just wanted to point that one out for you because it's quite a significant place as part of the Denmark history. But there you go. Are you impressed these were Lego was created? Yeah. Amazing, right? <laughs> Lego headquarters is just there. Lego okay, headquarters is just there. So we'll probably end up doing a walk, kind of, we'll kind of do a loop around that way on the way there. We'll probably do a loop around this one on the way back, give you a little bit more new scenery and head head over towards the little, I call it Legendia, it's not Legendia, that's a theme park, Lelandia. isn't it? Lelandia, that's the one. Legendia is a theme park. Yeah, Legendia is a theme park in Poland, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I get confused, guys, I'm very tired. But let's now go to Lelandia and I'll shoot some clips as well, probably maybe catch up with you as well, as we pass the Lego headquarters, which you can definitely see by the bright yellow bricks up there. 1984. Cut the grass in one. We all know that Danish people love their bikes. However, over here at Lelandia, they've taken the word cycle bike to the next level with that high rope course. And unfortunately, we didn't even look actually, in fact, inside Lelandia. Well, we went up to the door and it was closed. So we couldn't have a look in there today. We might nip in on the way down to Legan Billing tomorrow, I think. Just a quick circle around in the morning. How light but it is. But it is crazy. Half ten. Yeah. 
There's this light. Well, it's 10 23. Well, like basically half 10. Half 10. Basically, half 10. Yeah. It's, it's so light over here. It's have absolutely bonkers for us. I didn't know what time it was. No wonder we're so tired. We've literally been out since 3 in the morning. So, so at 4 o'clock, uh, at 4 o'clock uh, Danish time. So, here we go. You want to do maths? What? Want to do maths? 4 o'clock Danish time. We woke up. It's now 10 30 Danish time. How long have we been out for? 16 hours. 16 hours. And <laughs> Six and a half hours, yeah. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. It's very good to go. Well done. Good start. I oh, know, I have to test. I have to test. Two and a half hours we've been up for. So, as you can probably tell, we are pretty shattered right now. I mean, no, so, I think we've once been up for like 25 hours. I don't know where it was. I think it was like. I think it was, was San, I think San Francisco we got there. Oh, it was San Francisco, actually. Yeah, no, we were up for 24 hours. Oh, that was pretty insane. But, you know, I'm, it's, I'm pretty tired right now. But, you know, it's still great to be for Sarah. Like, like Dylan itself, I mean, if you are coming to, of course, experience like one of the hotels, I mean, not even the park itself, like Legoland Villa. Uh, yeah, it's definitely good to explore the area, and I personally wouldn't miss it. Because, you know, the park doesn't shut that late, which is the one unfortunate thing about the park. Have you not? I mean, even the hotels, you can just explore the hotels as well, because, you know, as you can see, if you are sitting on site, yeah, they've got some hotels to explore, so. Yeah, exactly. It is amazing, and we also do this, especially if you longer trip, it's also great. But there you go. That is basically it from the entire Billund area. From now on, for the end of the vlog, let's maybe nip in there tomorrow. I might show you a quick clip or two from in there. It's basically fully based off this hotel itself. I just hope you know a little snippet. If you skip through it, well then, maybe all about one day, because it's a really interesting place. And if you didn't, well, thank you very much for watching. But here we now go back into the hotel and I'll give you a quick room tour once we get in and we have made it back to our cabin and for our hotel tour or cabin done around you look at it we're gonna have a quick look in here and before we do start the outside wise look over here if we grab some football and stuff we were saying that if we did bring a car both would be amazing and there's a massive car spot or should I say bus spot right here you can literally get a bus in it because there's one each for each cabin over there and it is out of me and also you've got new cars that go out and we're still obsessed with those but when you head up here you've got a little seating area down here which you've got sitting on it's very kind of obstructing where you can sit down enjoy it so we're really lucky with our positioning of it we can even see the goats you see i'm running down there i think we've one of the goats down there and also as well what's pretty cool there you go it? Yeah, and also, so, like, what's pretty cool about this is that, like, you're actually all in like different areas. Like, we're currently in like the Zane area. Where Bruce, we just there's two or three rooms. There's, there's you see a sign over there. Um, and, and also, like, they've got. Oh, is there more there? I don't know, I think it just like, goes down all that way. Oh, yeah. this is the last yeah, one. Yeah, it's last, yeah. yeah. But like, there's one for each main character, so which is pretty cool. So each time you make it a different character or something. And I don't think the theme is that different, yeah, but it's also they've all got different designs on as well. So. Yeah, that's really cool. I mean, this is side, we definitely say again, because oh, I love that woody smell. Absolutely love a woody smell. When you're through the door, we're room, room 348 for reference in the future. You enter in, you instantly get met by this bathroom and the heat, which is looking here by. You've got an awesome like, open shower sort of thing. Here. And what's pretty cool on the back is there's so much detail. It's all the things in the lights near, but uh, uh, there's lights near, which is something normal. But there's our like bamboo, oh, yes. where bamboo backs, uh, and even little so signs where so even ninjas flush, wash your hands, and do that. Yeah. And that really awesome mirror. Uh, so I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice that until now. So yeah. that's really really cool. Over here, you've got, I think it's not meant to be. It's like, it's like a seat yeah, for your shoe back. Yeah, I know. So they really equip this place for somewhere you're going to be for a while. I mean, it's nice. It's amazing. In here, it's just a boiler, from what I remember. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's a boiler, but you can put a few pounds in there as well. And some a hidden feature up there. Hidden, one if, you, if, you, if you ever draw a TV series, like, you, you know what I mean. Yeah, but bird. It's one of the birds in the TV series. Yeah, cool. I, remember, I remember watching the TV series when I was younger. And in here, you've got the fridge Which again. We there. We've already got something in there. We've got some great stuff in there as well. Reasonably sized enough. I presume it's the freezer. Yeah, there you go. Got some small freezer. Well. Got a small freezer, but again, you're not going to send what you need for a week. In the supermarket just around the corner that we went to, you have that bin. Brush, pan, brush, probably plates, yeah, plates. Oh. And then you've been also, of course, got us that. Got your cart that we draw there, and a really awesome thing. Uh, I've never, it, I didn't notice the eagle up there. Yeah, we noticed the point a second ago. Yeah. What would be really cool if we made that a microwave? Yeah, it would be. But really I didn't cool. really cool. But what's really cool about this as well is it's actually like what you would find at the parks. Like, it's actually. Yeah, like, I, I, I want to take it home. It's so cool. Yeah, it's like it's massive. Awesome. I love it. It's so cool. Yeah, it's so cool. And then with the beds now out, of course, remember earlier, it was a sofa, but what it comes to is it then becomes a bed which then we can then use to sleep on. If it's two people in there, and it's a really awesome It's gonna be fine. And yeah. this as well, like, if you're worried, because this is what we're worried about, because online there's not actually like many photos, uh, but on here, it's actually like, really comfy. You know, if you yeah, I, know. I, mean, I know you can't, I know you can't feel it, but yeah. Compared to the average sofa bed, it's really comfy, yeah. and even if you have to pay for the linen extra, it is absolutely amazing. Yeah, because I mean, the, here's where it's so like, they usually aren't that comfy. 
And yeah, I mean, this is pretty much perfect. Of course, it's a Lego and themed hotel, so it should be, but you know, it's comfy. And then as well, you've got a really cool uh, massive window here with shovel curtains here, but you can basically see out, but you can't see in. Okay. And then you've got another window here, which you can both see in and out. See. You've got it's all the nice little, little hidden features as well for on the roof. I don't know if it's my, I can't adjust it, but there's my dad there. Hello. And there's the roof up there, so it is absolutely huge. And when you come in, it's got room for six people to sit here, which is the amount of people can go in the hotel room. You've yeah. also got seats. Yeah, which is actually very comfy though, that. Yeah, seats, games, little yeah. things to play along with. And then we go over towards the kids' rooms. Now, being a little bit cramped, but I said earlier, I'd rather have three rooms, exactly. but then have a little bit more cramped, but and not at all. In terms of the rooms as well, they can fit six people in, like I said earlier. So, I mean, I wouldn't say it's too much of a squeeze, to be honest. I mean, four's probably about the perfect amount. However, you can fit six in there, a lot of course, two on the sofa, two in here. So, yeah. And then there's a double bed. If you're one of the family, just like us four, it'd be a lovely, lovely room because we can literally use all of this and then also have the sofa and the bathroom and a nice little social zone there, which you don't really get at most hotels. I mean, like, this is unbelievable. I would say these sort of cabins are like, Sweets, cool. just yeah. a little bit further away. It's so like, well worth it. Oh, there you can see there's like a Lego crystal up there. Is that a light? Is lights. that a light? I forget a light. No, there's two little lights coming up as well. And then also as well, you've got like cabinets. Cabinetry hall towards you and another window just down there. Oh, there's something which I do really want to point out quickly, and that is this. Because if you know the movies or series, yeah, yeah, you'll know that, of course, like in Japanese and all that. That's similar to the culture. Yeah, they do actually have these sliding doors. Um, and they keep it shut because they look really cool. Well, well, I don't know, it's a little feature. When you're standing cool. here, it does look really cool having that. And then same. <laughs> But on this side you've got again once a table, very long table, and actually if you want to add a seventh person to the table, you can always move that chair around there or use the sofa. I mean there's so much room for everything. Really cool as well, this is like a giant TV. <laughs> I mean imagine that if I was just slides you know. up. Oh yeah, yeah. Also, I mean like just to talk about TV quickly, there is actually a TV yeah. over here. Well of course like, this is basically the living room, that's where the TV is over there. So, so it has got TV, but there's only one TV and even in the yeah, main bedroom here. This is of course where everyone else stays. And like, of course this is like Wu's bedroom, so it's pretty cool. Of yeah, your master Wu there. Um, and you've got, got the doors again, once again, very well themed. The hat. And what we want to point out as well, before you do think that you broke something, the window once again there, is that if you are staying here, and like, who do you guess, Hugo, when you pulled out the light, he was like, oh, I've got a broken it. It's not broken. It's a magnetic light, so you can put it wherever you want on there, rotate it around and fiddle around with it. It's like a magnetic light, which is pretty cool. Yeah. As well, as to also but unfortunately, there's no sliding door in here, but you know what? It's a bit of variety. And, yeah. You know, well, it's, it's still a really nice design here. And this really feels, I mean, for somebody who's watched all the series, it exactly. really feels, I mean, I definitely recommend it personally. Um, it really feels like quite authentic. And, and like seeing it right now, even when the bed's down, so it is a more tighter space, it still feels like we can all get around. <laughs> I was like, get around my dad's by there. But it still feels as if we can all get around in this location. And we can all sit down here in the evenings, enjoy some social time, sit out on the deck and outside, we're going to do the morning, start the editing, eat, chocolate. eat some chocolate, exactly, and have an absolutely amazing time in here. So I don't think I can recommend it anymore. One thing I wanted to point out is when you actually go to reception, oh, yeah, you can actually pick up this map. Of course, they're going to the village and on the back you've got of course Wally the dragon and a little scam trap as well which you can do and another thing which is pretty cool is you I think you only get one a group but as you can see over here the Legoland Villain Resort um yeah of course like a passport basically so it's pretty cool it's not a real passport but you get like a little map inside and yeah basically what's pretty cool about this tourist is, yeah, yeah. So if you go around the little tourist attractions really cool. you can collect a stamp from each one like the Lego house the zoo and everything like that well park and yeah, I believe there's one for Lelandia as well. You can just collect all these different stamps and of course fill up your book. And yeah, it's like a nice little souvenir to bring home to you. So. That is so awesome. Like, little touches like that cool. is yeah. amazing. But I think that's it from this cabin tour. I mean, we paid, I think it was 118, 190, but that includes the name. So it would have been 100 if you bring your own bed and you get a pillow and stuff. So to be honest, if you're traveling by car, bring your own pillow. You get 100 pounds for this. I, I mean, I mean to be honest, that is unbelievable for a theme park hotel room. Exactly, and to be honest, like, we didn't want to risk it, but if you did want to risk it, I mean, we saw some pillows down the local shop that I'm there. So if you did want to come down, you could probably just go down to the local mm. shop and just find something in there. Um, and yeah, really just set yourself up with it. But I'd personally recommend, of course, actually just getting stuff. It makes life so much easier. So, so yeah, I mean, I kind of words literally cannot describe how much I still am blown away with a hype for started. But just the space that we have in here, we can just always just chill out in the evenings, it's enjoy ourselves. Yeah. I think the only thing is if they did a bigger TV could be helpful. I know I'm a bit obsessed with TVs. Uh, but like, yeah, yeah, still, that size. That's a bit of a nitpick, though. That is, that is a nitpick, I mean, it's a tiny little thing, but... Also as well, there's a radiator down there, air conditioning. Air conditioning, well, not air conditioning. So. 
Is there air conditioning? Don't think there's air conditioning here, but again, okay, you're, you're in Denmark, it's so air conditioning is not most number one power Yeah, I mean, Denmark's cold anyway. So, <laughs> that is it from the room. We've pretty much covered everything inside of here. We'll have a night stay right now. Give her some food because I'm getting a bit hungry right now. And then, I'm, 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 I'm a little few snacks. And then we'll go up in the morning, give ourselves okay. a hotel night we'll review. Time. And then we'll see you back then when we do a tour around the entire hotel and finish our hotel vlog. But it has been amazing. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I mean, the, another thing to point out as well is, I mean, we've stayed in the, quite a few like Legoland themed hotels. And yeah, this is definitely one of the I think it's my favourite, personally. And yeah, I mean, because I mean, of course, we live in Legoland Windsor, so we've experienced their castle hotel. And of course, as well, like the Legoland Windsor hotel. And I don't know which one's the most steep. I say castleways, but this is really, this is actually really nice. Though. So yeah, it's absolutely amazing. So yeah, no further ado, let's have a night, and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys, from the hotel, and after an amazing night's sleep. I mean, those beds, as far as sofa beds go, I don't think I've ever been such a comfy sofa bed. We have now woke up in the morning and getting ready for our little tour around the resort. So what a night's sleep. I'll start off with a tour. And then, of course, we'll be taking you around the whole place, showing you everything that it has to offer, as well as just giving you an overview of the entire area. So, night sleep, Adam? Yeah, you know, it's pretty good. I mean, it's always great at Legoland hotels, you know. I mean, the theming for starters is just incredible. And that's one thing with Merlin Hotels. I can never knock them on that. The theming is incredible. So, you pay the price for it. But... Exactly. But, I mean, it works the same for this type of place as well. I mean, of course, it's not in the UK now, but, I mean, Merlin is obviously a brand where pretty much all over the world. So... I mean, they all do work with like really well themed. I mean, even over there, as you can see over there, they're, they're, like, they literally have like a fire pit in the middle. They still theme it, even where you just put up a tent. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, something to try out as well um, was that like the bed arrangement. Of course, it was a sofa bed, so sometimes they're not the best. You know, it was perfect. It was completely fine. It was. And you can for six people now. I mean, we were sort of thinking at the start, uh, maybe you can't for six people, but you know, it works. So yeah, probably four for best, but you know, six is fine. Yeah, six is fine. And also, where else in the world can you see some goats at a theme park hotel? Look at that. I'm gonna give one of them a strike over there because you can nip down, I think, through here. You can get a strike. But they are really friendly. They've got a whole field around the back there which you can go into. So they are well kept. But I'll give you a little strike, mate. Yeah, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. Little one too. Yeah, hello. There's one up here as well. Oh. Hello. They're very friendly, obviously, because it is a children's hotel. People do pet the goats, people do feed the goats too. And obviously, we're feeding them as far as it goes. I don't know if we never walk around it, but be respectful. And there's even donkeys. I didn't even realize that one. But it's donkeys down there. Look at this. Hello. I knew there were donkeys here. Oh, don't really want to strike that much here. <laughs> but there you go. Even some little animals over here to keep here and entertain. It's so nice that this hotel has this sort of. You know, oh, yeah, you want to strike. Hello. Yeah. See? Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. You know, there's like little features like this around the hotel, which you don't usually get this in like the UK, especially. You don't usually get stuff like this. But you know, and Denmark, I mean, you do sort of start to get some stuff like this, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, you get some little, little touches around the hotel, so that, especially with camping ones. There's often quite a lot of extra things to do because people do stay here for a few days, weeks, whatever. So, some of the David Crockett, which was mentioned in the other days, they've got a little activity that you can get on with, which is one of the reasons why we love the Caverns Hotel so much because yeah, even for a sort of time, like we are today, you still have this stuff that you can yeah. do. It is, it is like we're, pretty much wherever we go, if there's a cabin on site, We'd always go for that, like depending on. But even if it's a little bit more expensive, like we just love sort of cabin feel and everything like that. So yeah, I mean this is pretty cool. Oh, it's always theming this whole play area, and also this does inflate to make a massive one of those massive cushions. We were going to go on it this morning, but we realised they'd take it down and blow it up in the day, so unfortunately we weren't able to do it. But the whole play area as well. I mean. If you're coming here, there's so, so much to do around this area. From like, all this like, zip wires to the playground, and it's all so well themed within this different land. It's like you come around this corner, you've got the Indian camp, which I don't know as well, are also sleeping hotels. I'm not going to make our way into it too much, because obviously the rooms are probably quite able to hear us when we're talking. So I'll show you a quick overview of it, but basically all these little tents that you can stay overnight in as well as the car parks for each area is here. So if you want to send the tents, you can go here. If you want to go in the cabins, you've got your own private car parking. And of course, you have a camper van when you park yourself. But here's a quick look as well at the Indian cab camp, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it's real. So I don't actually know when you can say it because I've been looking for a while now. 
and it doesn't seem like there's any dates where you can actually stay here. Probably because it's all booked out, but you know, if you can try and find some availability. It's, it's, it's pretty, cool. it can't really be too expensive, is it? And it's not what no. I was paying for. It's, yeah. In my eyes, it's on my top of my bucket list, in the TP. But <laughs> if it is for you, it's, it's probably sort of a, a bit like cheaper. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's the closest you probably get to glamping, so... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if there's a proper bed to make up in there, so I thought it was like you. Oh, well, we'll have to find out. Kind of like later on, but there's not just one hotel here. You've got, of course, the cabins that we've got. I think there's small Linden Jago cabins too. Then you've yeah, also got... There's tons of incomes. Essentially, you've got the, like, the Lego and Jago ones. Then you've got, obviously, the Indian cab one. Like, the camp one, sorry. And then over here you've got. I don't know had for now. I, mean, I have oh, yeah. wilderness barrels or something. Yeah. And then you've got another western sort of one over there, a bit further down. And I believe they're all. I mean that's it for all different types. But again, like, they all have different themes with them as well, like yeah. some different animals and all that sort of stuff. So if you go down here, you have to see. I'm going to be quiet once again because it's where people are watching. It's like half eight, so it's not too early and people should be up ready to go to the park for a day but oh. even these little cabins they've got the cabins so they've also got like a little area oh. for sliding where you can sit there also have a nice meal and we'll stuff or like a drink like on the top of the roof they all have some animals yeah there's like, oh, an owl so cool. yeah and they are really really like secluded as well from yeah, the rest of it it's like and the bushes are put in front of it so you can't look in which is quite nice yeah i mean and they are small and also like, another worry probably is about the loudness of the place and this is one thing because we're literally right next to the airport. Honestly, we couldn't even hear a plane. Maybe there wasn't a plane no. going out because I think Finland's a very quiet airport anyway. But literally, yeah. we, didn't, we didn't even hear a plane. So, like, if you're worried about that, it's completely fine. You're completely fine as well. So there you go. There's a quick look at the barrels, and of course around the whole camp as well. There are not really a dedicated spot to the camp. There's a few dedicated spots, but like, even near us, there's like a cage little green patch. Also, we haven't booked our rooms possibly yet, where there are them. But here is a little look as well of the other cabins you get. These ones are a little bit smaller, because we were looking at these, and you have to only have, have like four people saying these ones. So if yeah, you wanted to look at a smaller five, group. Five, maybe? I'm not sure, maybe four, but yeah. So if you're in a smaller group, you can stay here instead. You but here. you've got different areas, like for like, Beaver Valley, which is really awesome with the Lego models. Make your way round past here. I think these are all kind of the same sort of Yeah, I believe design. That all of the insides are the, literally the exact same. But again, like the, I mean, even like the outside, the exterior, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, you've got a little it's, table stuff. It's always a bit different, so. Talk a little bit around it as well. And then you go down here, I think, and pass up towards Bear Creek. Yeah, a great one. A great one, obviously. I, mean, I, I love, wish we could say this one. Yes, I love, I love all the little models as well, you have outside of it. I mean, it's such, it's such an emergency, and it feels so secluded here. You can even see so down there we were yesterday. But it's so quiet, so nice, and there's a really nice smell in there as well. How oh, that is, a really nice smell going through there, but there you go, <laughs> get a picture of it. We'd head down there, but I've just... I don't know, I mean, there's nothing to see. No, I think it's really just this the whole way. But if you're looking outside, I think you get, yeah, you get a little table as well inside of it, which is pretty cool. Like, then the giant comes, I don't... I, th I think the roof's a little bit lower, but it's basically them, but just a lower roof, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see from anybody, I think it's best. And then down here is the main hub for, I think, a caravan so if you're going to a caravan and you want to go to the toilet for your amenities a restaurant yeah. and the sort of that this and, is where it is yeah exactly i mean we will show you later as well because i believe ninjago has a specially themed one as well with these and you know that's that's something that i really like about it is that they all have like different especially themed versions of this which is pretty cool yeah you see down here all little areas they've got a snooker table i don't think that's probably free it's merlin so oh, this is anything. i mean like, this is sort of a hotel where you would stay here for like five nights or something i mean obviously we're literally here for a night because we've literally flew in yesterday we're flying back out tonight so it's quite a short trip but you know you would usually stay here for yeah. quite a long time if we were here for a week i always said i wanted yeah. to do a week trip in Finland. Oh, where, where so much off. when we go to a water park to go to a theme parks plus we do all the other little bits as well if we do one of those trips i would love to be able to stay here and be able to experience everything that has to offer because there's so much here which we haven't yet done which would be absolutely amazing to experience over at billund but we only kind of come here really for legoland so one time we do need to make a trip down here see all that has to offer all the water parks and everything like that because it is a really amazing place and this hotel is a great spot to stop off. It's not expensive, especially yeah. with how I like. I don't know how much parking is, but I don't think it's that bad. And you get an immersion as well. I don't know for definite. I think if you want to, I mean, I think it depends on like the size of pitch you want, but I believe it starts around £30 when I, when I was looking. So it's not too bad actually. It's not too bad at all, is um, it? Yeah, no, it's not that bad. But. Oh, just, all you get as well, like, it's not just any caravan park, it's a caravan park in Legoland property as well. It's really, really nice just for to do this. And then every, 
as well, similar to some of the caravans, you know? every single spot around here, you also have like a little player, a little area, so you, you don't need to walk miles to get to a player back there. You can literally just have a little spot off of where you can yeah. run around, have a bit of fun. I think I'll put football here, probably. What? No, here. I think you can. Yeah. And there's a quick look how close it is to the park, and you can see the park just down there. Oh, yeah, the Lego top. If you look down there, you can see the top of the tower. So it is very, very close. It's, it's just about a 15 minute walk. But yeah, I mean, that's the thing that I said to this point out is that some hotels may have a swim ball. Unfortunately, this one doesn't, but. To be honest, you've got the land here just over there, so... Yeah, exactly. So if you're going to go swimming, you go in that one, and that's one of the best water parks in the entire world, so... Yeah, I mean, literally, like, it's well known in the world, so it's really And cool. I think it's all, like, partnered up with Ben and Yossi, so that's like, a passport thing. Yeah, that's what they're all, They're all kind of linked together. Why we want you to have a weekend of it, and they're not, like, competitive or exactly. anything like that, so... I mean, if you go to one, you're likely going to the other. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we're not, so... <laughs> we're, we're not. We're not against that, but... We've only got a weekend, but... but yeah, go here. And do is the Ninjago covers down here? I don't know for sure. Are they the same as our ones? Uh, yeah, no, all the Ninjago covers are the same. So I believe there's like different tiers of like what like cabins there are. So obviously, I mean, in, in terms of the covers itself, I think it starts off with the Western ones and then it goes on. I think Ninjago is the highest speed one you can get. So, yeah, so. But, yeah, yeah we're looking for these. Uh, do you like a little player? I think player. Oh, we'll work around here, yeah. We'll, we'll make a stack around here, yeah. We're trying to work out a way around. Like, it's all new trust as well, guys. That's what I love about these hotel vlogs is that yeah, yeah. when we film, but we try to go as our first time in actions. So you see the excitement into a room to looking around, being curious what it is to offer. Of course, we've got some, some sort of map, and Adam really knows the whole way around, to be honest with you. I mean, but, no, I was literally studying this on Google Maps like a couple of days ago. So. Yeah. It doesn't really, and here's one of those little cars. We didn't talk about you get this from because I want to point out that out for you, but. Oh yeah, so as, over here as well. As a dog just passed as well, I thought I might as well mention it. Yeah, it oh, there they are, don't they? There they are, perfect. Oh, I might take one of these back as a joke. <laughs> but as we're... As, as, as we're dogs apart, I want to say that this hotel, of course, like the whole of Billund, is dog love friendly. Denmark, so. I don't know, they're dog friendly. They love, they love the dogs here. It's absolutely amazing how we do, but they absolutely love the dogs. And so, if you are visiting the park, you've got to go and bring a dog. I mean, yeah. like, if you have one, take one. There's no claim about it. But looking at these bikes, it wouldn't be Denmark as well, but not paddle them up. I don't have fun like these ones, I think. I don't know if they're free or not. They probably are. Yeah. So it looks as if you might have to... Oh yeah, no. Would you have to rent them, do you think? I think so, yeah. Yeah, you might have to rent them. Yeah, nice, but yeah, of course, it's a really fun way to get around the park yeah, as well. Yeah, I mean, literally, it's just like another thing to do at the, the hotel, so... Yeah, because something I do get, like, with these things here, it's like you can just take them out instantly, so you go, you want to have some sort of re I don't know if they're free if you go and like, put like, a deposit down or something, but... I don't know, yeah, I mean, they probably are if you do that, because, I mean, to be honest, you, you may just need to go up to reception and say, can I just have it, and yeah, whatever. Yeah, they'll probably let you have it, because I'll just do it on back as like, a... I mean, they're Danish, but... you know, like, they're lovely, so... They're lovely people, I know. And while we're passing here as well, you can go camping without a camper van or stay in one of the cabins. Just bring your tent along. A few pictures just down there we saw yesterday yeah. where you can bring your tent along and stay there. And that was pretty cool. And I think that is the amenities for the camping. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah I, think that's, I think that's the camping or not the camper van. There's lots of areas around this hotel. I mean, we've kind of got to the end right now. This is where the car park is for. I mean, we've still got a bit to go because we've got a But yeah, we're kind of at the end. So it's, it's big, but it's nice size, but it's not too yeah. big. But it's not like you're going to get lost when you walk around. I mean, at least for somebody who's studied it anyway. But. Yeah, also made as well, but it's not like some like centre parts, much as obviously it's really nice centre parts where like, when you go there, you kind of have everything in one area. You can go to this hotel and off it, you've got all the amazing theme parks and the water parks and the yeah, activities. Really. Oh, there's so much to offer in this country. It really is. I mean, that whole yeah, really. aqua as well, I used to think it was a hotel. But it's not a hotel. I think it is. No. Is it? Yeah, no, I was, just, I, was, I was just looking the other day. I believe it's a bit like these cabins here. So I believe oh, it's okay, like yeah. cabins down on the right hand side, I think. So. Oh, so maybe it is. But but <laughs> boats, so. Maybe that's as well. We might have to go there one time because that looks pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, also, as well, in terms of like the eating stuff over here. Oh, yeah, his map. We've come out of Lego quite cool. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty cool because obviously we're not actually in Lego right now. So. While we're here, I'm going to put it down here, show you a map aside of this area too because this is the whole map of the resort just give you a quick overview of what it looks like and i think i'll show you from the photo when we start this vlog over here but here's a quick look at the front of the map of what we say so basically we are staying in 348 which is just up there but around it you can see even behind us there's loads of areas for parking your proper vans or also down over in tents a play, we went to all the donkeys, horses, and rabbits so sort of the other day. And down here, there's a bit of mini golf as well. <laughs> I really noticed yeah. that. We have to go down there and have a look in a sec. Mini golf, you've got obviously the teepees at the top, oh, and yeah. all the cabins that are in past, the play areas. We've covered most of everything, and then you've got the. And like the pirate hotel, I'm hotel. sorry, the pirate motel, which we'll show you. We'll show you where we head ride, like, sort of around that way. Yeah. So, yeah, that's basically, and down there as well, you've got more camping, which we did show you earlier. 
one thing I do want to point out, though, as we just right here, it's a supermarket, which is a little area in here. Well, I'll quite look through the door. I think you can put an enter through. Where basically, no dogs are allowed. Some places have dogs, some places don't have dogs, but obviously inside, it's understandable when you're going to the supermarket. But a little place to buy the groceries. However, if I'm being honest, they are overpriced because it is a. It's not too bad though. Like, I don't think it's too bad. Like, if you, is it, if you urgently need something, it's not like it's the end of the world. No, it's the end of the world gift stuff here. But at the same time, it's going to be a lot more expensive, like one pound sixty for water stuff. So I've never seen a fridge like that before. I was going to point that out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like this is obviously a giant right fridge on the back, and it's just like that. But yeah. If you want to get something urgently, then come in and get it. But if not, then I would recommend making a trip out towards the supermarket. Yeah. And also, oh, well, another thing yeah. is that they do actually sell some like Legoland merch. Right? Just oh, yeah, yeah. So we, we do sell some pretty cool stuff in here. But again, if you're going here, you're probably going to Legoland. And if you little games as well, you can play when you're right out, which I think is really, really nice little touches as well. We do like everywhere needs a supermarket. Every single one of these camping needs one for quickly grabbing some other stuff. Like, for example, if you lose toothpaste, we'll put in there and grab some or bread, something like that you really need in the mornings, but it's worth going and grab it. But if not, at the same time, I just personally recommend going up to the supermarket down the street, because it's not far away, and you can get a lot more for your money. But there you go, we're going to go to the supermarket, we'll go past reception before nipping in. I haven't actually looked in the reception yet, because we were inside yeah. in earlier, so. Yeah, we haven't even seen it, so. Here's a quick, cool. here's a quick glimpse inside the reception, I'm not going to walk in or anything, but once again, Pretty Bob standard section. They even got like little keys, so I think they might be for the pirate cabins, which actually I think I never had them, but I think the pirate cabins can see quite a lot of people in there. So we have to have a look around. When you're staying here, there's lots of different options. It's not just like the ninja cabins that we're staying in, but there's so many different places in this resort which you can stay in, including stuff like the pirate cabins that we're gonna be heading up towards right now. However, just in here as well is where the food is. You've got buffets in the evening, breakfast buffets in the morning. You can all add it on when you're paying for your stay. It's like a little spreadsheet and you can tick what you yeah. want to stay have when you go here. Yeah, it's like in pounds, I believe it's about 10 pounds. So it's not, it's definitely not a lot. We were considering it, but. Yeah. I mean, that's actually, I mean, things like we, we were sort of considering it, but then we thought, you know what, because we want to get into the park, obviously film this early, we're like literally about 8.40 right now. And we yeah. sort of wanted to film this early and then get into the park. We thought we won't today, but. Yeah, and also when you have to pay extra for like the linen and stuff, much as obviously we think it's fine, it kind of puts you off basically paying for everything else. That's the problem with it. When you pay money for stuff, it puts you off the other things. And that's, that's the biggest issue with this hotel. Well, Once well, again, I, I was going to point out, they're so trusting here, no, no padlocks on the bikes, but it's perfect. I know, and also as well, like you can actually get a takeaway from here as well. That's another big thing. Because I don't think it's too much, but you can get a takeaway pizzas and stuff like that. So, yeah. I mean, what we did last time is we sort of just walked down the road and got something. But if you want to, feel free to do that. And there's even a little thing in here. But here's a quick look at the pirate thing, is it? It's called the Pirate Hotels. And essentially, this is the hotel where you can fit up to eight people in. So oh, so this one's the biggest one? Yeah, so you can fit tons, but I don't know how you can fit yeah, on this, but... I mean, but like, there's, 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 there's four, five and eight rooms, so... So yeah, there's also one that goes all the way back, I don't know. I do want to say it, but... It must, have a, like, it must be like a massive suite, then. I don't really know, but... It doesn't look like you can fit eight people in here, but... No, I just, oh, I've got a pee pee one, but I won't get a change, but I'm not going to film in it. I think we should upstairs again. Oh, upstairs? I think we should. We should, let's go up here. It's going to look really weird as we walk up the stairs, but maybe you can get quite a view across. We do not walk up the stairs. So. We do not walk up the stairs in the channel. <laughs> here we go. Let's go up here right now and then look across over at the Aquadome, Aquadome Water Park, which in my eyes is a lot better than any other resort. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And also, as you can see over there, like just in that corner, oh yeah, like they're, they're, they're the sort of cabins for Lolandia. So if you're yeah. staying there. Oh, yeah, just down there. Yeah, yeah, you can see just down there. And so, there's some goats back there as well. Some <laughs> goats. They love their goats yeah. here. They love their goats here. But even down here, little leather touches like the bricks down there. I personally don't get the whole niceness of these cabins. Adam likes them, but I don't get how it looks a bit like, really. It, 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 it does fit the motel theme, if you want to put it that way. <laughs> I don't know, I, I think they could have, I think of the cabins that look a lot nicer than the motels, but making it around here, I have a quick look around at some more play areas. We've got a little pirate play area here for everyone to enjoy, as well as some more amenities. And if you want to be near to the entrance of a park, if that's what's important to you, this hotel has got the nearest entrance. If you stand this one here in the motels, you will get to get to the park a lot quicker. And I mean, I know it's only a quick walk up to our cabins, like an extra five or ten minutes. 
but it makes a world of difference when you're tired at the end of the day and you want to head towards the next thing. But here we now go, round towards Vininjago Cabins, which I think is our last stop along here, and I think there's a little play area as well, which is in the jungle, I think just down the corner there, which we'll be heading to once I do find Adam. But let's now go over towards our last part of the place, Vininjago Cabins. However, just before that, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below as it does mean the absolute world to us. And maybe we can do more videos just like this one here. And for our final part of our tour, we have made it over towards the Ninjago cabins. And of course, we've already shown you around our cabin as well as what it is to do around our little area. But this stretches back a whole, but I think it's probably the biggest complex of stuff in Ninjago. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, I've researched the newest one as well. I don't yeah, know. it does look pretty new. A couple years back, yeah. So, all the camping is a little area for everyone who's staying here to go in. And you can go in other ones. I mean, it's not restricting you to one certain one that you can go into because it yeah. has lots of areas but I never realised that this is all the same cabin I thought there were different size cabins so you know, if you are staying there you could stay in any section of the area really yeah it's just sort of like luck like, like, sort of what section you stay in you can normally have a little request inside of your room I don't know whether I'm for the front the front is obviously good for when you're travelling <laughs> that's really cool the front's really cool for when you're like getting to the park but the back's really nice for security so both really cool areas yeah, though. But there is one other level of it as well so there's a room with a view of the play area so that's the only other level that I've just thought of there because we're awesome and it's just a bit odd but again if you if you do have children they want yeah, to yeah exactly it, it's actually pretty cool I'm, I'm thinking so. the wrong way around but yes if you have love play areas then it's actually a really good idea it's a really really good idea but here's a quick look at the Ninjago play area and if there's no one here me and I will be up yeah. here in seconds but it feels a bit wrong to go in here right now but this is one of the coolest if not the coolest play I've ever seen like yeah, it's awesome. it is so so cool and like just all the way it's not big by any means but that's what I have a feeling I have here, like, we have to come back in, just, going, just with a player alone, that is so, so awesome, all the slide, yeah. things you can do, the whole buildings, I mean, early, yeah, I'm going to play quite late, I mean, yeah. that is so, so cool, that is, that is, that is really awesome. Really go off, I reckon, go like really early. There's some really weird slide stuff, so I was like, oh, that's really cool. And the thing is, it fits in with the thing, it's not like you're just chucking a slide around, all the different ropes fit in between the buildings and the different, oh, that's so cool that is. Oh, yeah. That is really cool, there's the Akazem again, once down there. And the presentation's time. really nice as well, this whole place, so as you can see now, it's sort of like little pathways. Really yeah, little nice. pathways around, you can kind of make your way around and you can know if you want to go this way, you go in the other way, it all ends up at the same real spot. And I think, we'll also go back to our cabin, but that's pretty much it from the tour of the hotel. So apparently now we've got to check out, and I thought I want to mention this as well, when you check out, you've got to tidy your own room, but they, but they come in the key, they did have a little touch and force, so you don't have to come in. But it's up to you to tidy it, and there's a £40 fine. Which, to be honest though, it's fair, like... Yeah, so you, as long as you know beforehand, that's fine, but it's, it's not going to be your typical hotel stay where you just drop up and you go out again. It's very I mean, like, I mean, self-catering. Exactly, I mean, like, we do tidy it anyway, so... Yeah, we, we do also have a level tidying. And I mean, literally, we I mean like everything's gonna be spotless pretty much. Oh, yeah, pay four pounds. That's why not everyone else came along with us today on this room tour yeah. and hotel vlog because they're all been helping to tidy up and get ready for, of course, where we have to check out, unfortunately, in a little bit. Check out time. Oh, Do you I, know? Maybe, I presume it's three o'clock. I believe. I wonder who's with No, that's check in time. Ten, sorry. Ten, uh, it's 10 or 11, probably. Yeah. And like, check in time is like three o'clock. Yeah, even though say. actually, funny enough. They do message you, they're really efficient because you can check in before you go, obviously. I we're going down here. down here. You can check in before you go. How do you get around here? We're, we're, we're trapped. Yeah, you, you, you can check in before you go. So that's what we did. We had a little check in and then you get a barcode and then from then on you can then you get there to scan it, get the towels and then go in. But they messaged us at like three in the morning. I know, I know that because we were in the airport yeah, yesterday at three in the morning. <laughs> I'm going to be airport again today as well because we're only good for two days. But when we were in the airport yesterday, a message said your room's ready. So it's like amazing how even if it's not ready by three, it's still letting you go in and enjoy the facilities over here. And you can pretty sure park your car before you even get your room in that car park down there if you want to go in the park. Yeah, and not pay for parking. Fine, like not sorry, no extra fees or anything like that. To park your car, you just park it if you want, and then yeah, you, just, you can either bring a car. 
<laughs> we can walk out, depending on. Uh, I think uh, the majority of people do bring a car. Yeah, though. and just like we took a plane and we took a car. We literally just walked it from the airport, so. Yeah, it's, it's not a long walk. I mean, from the park, oh, everything, no. our whole trip, we've been to Leg Down, we've been over there, it's, it's all walking. been walking, no taxi, anything like that. The supermarket, all from the airport. And like, it just shows you like. And you can really tell we're not hikers or anything. Yeah. So, we're not we're not, we're not going to walk miles and miles that easy. Yeah. You can, anyone, any age, really can make it way around there. We still missed something out. We've got mini golf. Oh, yeah, we've got mini golf. I mean, that's what it is, though. Right? From two days that they got there, they obviously send this hotel. It came to, I mean, for six people, it came to around 1,600, which is not too bad for like a weekend. Like, if you know, like, a holiday, it's not too bad for that. And to be honest, if you just do it by foot, it's pretty cheap, actually. Like, yeah. For obviously a holiday. Really. Yeah, I think it's a whole holiday, it's cost us. Now, this is also just somehow as well, so it's not like the lowest of times, off peak times, but I think the total has cost us around, for six of us, around like 1,500. Yeah, about the whole trip, more than 600, yeah, around that. So, it's not bad price at all when you think about what we've done. It's a weekend, so it's and not it's a really really long time. Trip as well. It's an easy trip. The other thing is there, and once you're here, it's not too expensive, especially if you do what we did. We did buy food yesterday, but if you go to the supermarket and stuff, it's not that expensive at all. But here's a quick look before we go at the crazy golf, and I think you've got a highest and stuff up there. I'm but... Oh, sorry, but this looks so similar to like, the back and logo. <laughs> it does. It does. But yeah, another little crazy golf course down here. And that is very, very cool once again. So as we look at it, we will come here about one day. There's so much things to do here. And there's everything especially themed towards the river. I think it's just a normal crazy golf course. But once again, really, really cool little touches they add to the hotel. Well, but here we now go back to our room. I'll give you one little clip or something before we do go as an overall of the room, before we give our reviews of this amazing hotel stay. After an absolutely amazing stay, we have made it to the end of our visit. And what was the best place to end it in? In the Lalandia. We said we are going to film Landia. it, and we are at La Lalandia, whatever it's called. We're looking at it, and it is, but it is so hot though. We're just walking down. We, we regret not wearing shorts or something. That's the sort of weather it is over here in Denmark. We are having to get in the shade, but here we now go to end the our vlog in here. I want to get your guys' reactions, because it is absolutely mental inside of this place. Here we go. Welcome to Lando. Uh, it is absolutely mental in here. <laughs> oh, it is so cool. I mean, look at this. It's just. I get what you mean by it looks like Las Vegas. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, it's absolutely crazy inside of here. This is all part of it. It goes, it goes, goes all the way around. There's theme park rides down there. The water park around back. There's restaurants. There's shops. There's a supermarket down there. It is absolutely crazy around the film. We're going to take you over around as we do end our hotel vlog. And you just toss around the face when we hotel vlog. Yeah. But we'll start off with, who want to start off with the hotel? Let's start with Hugo. Yeah. How was your night? How was the hotel stay? Wow. In general, how was it? I'll be brutally honest, the hotel was boiling, but it was but a lovely thing. You remember as well, okay? Huh? We're not in a country which is used to hot weather. We're in Spain and it was hot. So it's like, there's no one by there. There's no one by an aircon for like one night in yeah, exactly. 10 years. <laughs> but yes, it was a little bit hot. Well, in the, 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 the beds themselves were quite comfy. Um, but I don't have that. I had a really good sleep as well. So, so for the overall feeling, I, I would, I would recommend staying there. Yeah, I mean the whole thing. I mean everything like that is absolutely awesome. The whole atmosphere being there is amazing, and overall just a really nice place to you said earlier. So, what are you getting amazed at all of this? I mean, um, oh, what do I think of it? Yeah, it's very well been. Uh, the night was um, hot. Hot. <laughs> I was sweating like crazy. Fine. Um, shower was a bit weird. It wasn't like it was like just the floor, pretty much the shower. Yeah, it's so open, open, open shower. Yeah, that's that's what it's called. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, obviously, yeah, it's hot, but Denmark doesn't get that hot, so it's not. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like you move to Spain and get in, and they get heated, but one day it's cold and it's gonna be really weird to sleep. So, that's a little bit weird, but then again, oh, of course it is, we have to go around. But then again, it was an amazing, amazing stand. I don't know how everyone's been to dinner this bit, but in my eyes, I feel like as a place, it is very much so self catering. Maybe almost not, not too much, but if you're planning, if you're used to in hotels like we are, we're not used to carrying the linen back to the room, uh, back to the reception. It's like we pay for linen, can't I just have it in the room when we arrive? It's not about, I don't know. But it even like you have to clean the room before you go, that's also fine, but you've got to be prepared if you are staying there to do all your own stuff, clean it, tidy it, and then you can when you get back. And that's one of the big things about being there. It's not just a room, it is a self-catering location. Some of about Airbnb, which you have to do everything yourself when you do visit. However, if you do do that, you get a giant room, 
lots of places to stay, an amazing place to be. You get all these facilities like an oven, free stuff like that, which is absolutely awesome as well. And you come an awesome like play area for pillows, uh, soon gets gone when we looked on the way back and it's just were inflated, but there was lots of people playing on them, so we couldn't do that. However, in my eyes, I feel like if, you can, if you're willing to go past all that do-it-yourself stuff, if you've been for a long time, I definitely do it. If you've been for a short time, if you can get past that do-it-yourself stuff, then it's definitely worth a stay because it's yeah, cheaper yeah. and it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know what, like, of course, like, the Lego and enjoy coming. I mean, in the, ho the, the hotel itself, like, the Lego, obviously, like, the Lego and Billy, whatever it's called. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, like, like the Lego, I followed it. But it's, like, the hotel's actually really nice. Of course, there's tons of different cabins on offer. And you know what? It sort of suits everyone. Yes, it is very self-catering. You don't really, like, in terms of that, like, you don't get, like, included, like, you don't get some pillows or anything like that. You just have to buy extra for that. Um, but once you add it all up, it's not too much for a hotel room. Um, to be honest, like, the dry covers are some of the most expensive there. Uh, of course, apart from the primary hotel. So, you know, overall in like the Ninjago rooms, you know, I find them really well themed. And, yeah, this is what you don't usually find with like cabins. Like, it's usually like a Western theme. Yeah. yeah, they do have them. But we thought that it's pretty cool how they sort of changed all the Western theme up and made it a little bit different. So, you know, overall, it's a good state. It's probably one of my favourite Legoland hotels. It could even be our favourite. I don't know, because the Cars Hotel, of course, Legoland wins. And I imagine it's probably the same here for Legoland Bill. And, yeah, look, we had a little bit of a It's very, very well fit. And we've all I know, we've all it's quite warm. So. Yeah, it's quite warm. And even here, but it's quite one thing about it. It's like, I'm going to go hot in here. It's it's Lego. Lego. It's not Lego. No, 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 no. But, like that, I bet that is Lego, but it might be, it might be, it might be. Oh, it's Lego. Is it? Oh, I need a little bowling alley for a bit. It's so much it. Is it Lego? I think it is. Okay, it's Lego. There you go. I just normally these sort of places having like these cheap knockoff stuff. But again, this place, I just want to tour you around it as we are in the vlog. It is absolutely crazy. I mean, if you come into the hotel, come for a week, you can spend like a few days in here alone. I mean, yeah, I mean it's, well known. it's all indoors, so it's, it like night time, but it's actually like early morning right now, so that's weird. But I mean, yeah, like, this is literally well known all over the world, this place. Yeah. So, I mean, if you've never heard of it, I mean, I'd be a little bit surprised if you've never heard of it. I mean, like, I think I heard of it pretty much before like, my Dylan, to be honest, which is pretty crazy, considering I love theme parts more than water parts. But, yeah. You know, but it's not just a water park, there's so much to do here. There is, yeah. And like, this thing, like, a lot of people just think, right, there's a water park here, but, you know, there's actually a lot to offer. Like, the theming in here, I, I sent you that theming in here, I mean, because obviously, you've been in it, like, April, we haven't got the whole of Denmark. It's probably the best in the whole country, to be honest. So, it's pretty insane, but... Yeah. So there you go, there's a few more gyms and stuff down there and then you make your way around and then back to where you started really. As well as the water park which is up here also, after the winter world. Well. And the Christmas shop, squash course, I mean it's just like wherever you turn, the stuff I didn't realize existed. It's like it's, it's, it's absolutely unbelievable and you can see all the winter down there, I'll try ending the vlog up there. But with all that said, that is pretty much it for my video over here today on the hotel vlog. And if you have enjoyed Please sure to like, subscribe and comment down below as that does mean the absolute world to us. But with all that said, and after an amazing stay at the Lego Holiday Village, there's only one thing left for me to say. Outside of the winter town, which isn't very open at the moment. It's even more cold than Denmark. Yeah. I don't know how that's happened. Well, that's My name is Tom Derrick from Theme Park Hosting, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Goodbye from darkness, guys. Bye-bye.